Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can crush white using the deadly Traxler counter attack. So without further ado, let's get started. The Traxler counter attack starts with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, the Italian game, and now knight f6. This is the two knights with defense. Now, by knight f6, we invite white to play knight g5, double attacking this weak f7 square with both the bishop and the knight. Now, over here, white has some nasty tricks up his sleeve, like the fried liver attack or the lolly attack. But what we are going to play is bishop c5. White must be thinking, why did you just give me this free pawn? Now I'm going to win your rook or your queen, am I not? Well, no. Some of you might also be asking, why not bishop cross f7? Well, as nothing much is happening after this move, many players tend to fall for the trap and play knight cross f7. Now, we have the stunning move, bishop takes f2 check. White has three responses. Either king f1, king cross f2, and king e2. In this video, I am going to cover king cross f2. So, after the king takes our bishop, we take this pawn, it's a check. And before I move on with the responses, I am going to tell you one thing. You have to attack this lonely king with as many pieces as you can. This knight is always crucial in the center. Your other knight can join the party. After d5 or b5, this bishop can start attacking. You can bring your queen in from f6 or h4. And you can castle any time or even just bring your rook to f8 and that will attack this open file. All in all, you don't have to remember all the variations. Just the attacks in this variation and you can win easily. So... After knight cross e4, white has 6 responses, king g1, king f1, king e1, king e2, king e3, and king f3. I am going to cover all of these responses one by one. Now, if king goes to e1, then queen h4 check, white has some 3 responses, king f1, then queen f2 mate, if king e2, then queen f2 check, king d3, knight c5 check. All of these moves are now forced. So king c3 and queen d4 is a checkmate. Now, so after queen h4 check, his best move is to play g3. After this, we simply take the pawn with our knight. And if he becomes greedy and takes our rook, then after knight e4 check, it's the same attack as earlier. King e2, king, queen f2 check, king d3, and eventually we checkmate this king. So, taking the rook is not a good option. What if he takes the knight instead? Then, we take this rook. If king e2, then after knight e4, you lose the queen. Since the king has to move and you can just take this. So, white will play bishop f1. Now you play rook f8. Taking advantage of this open file, white will play queen e2. You play knight d4, attacking the queen. White is forced to offer the exchange. You accept it and then you play knight cross e2. After which the king moves and you take this rook. So, going back. Over here, king e1 is definitely not the best move. So, now if king f3, then queen f6 check. Since white has come this far, he will take a knight. Then d5 check. If king cross d5, then knight b4 check if king d4 then we have queen f4 mate and if king to c5 then queen b6 mate 
just look at this king it came from here on e1 and up till c5 so after d5 if bishop takes d5 then queen f4 check king d3 queen e d4 check king d2 and we simply take this bishop now if he takes our rook then after the stunning move bishop g4 check we win the queen so now king f3 is also not a good move if king e3 this is the second best move in the position not the best so then we have queen h4 now once again we have to attack with all our pieces you can play d5 and get your bishop into the game you can bring your knight to the center you can bring this rook into the play with this and this rook into play with rook f8 and all in all you have many attacking options so if white plays something like rook f1 then you can play d5 or rf8 like we discussed earlier and if he tries to become too greedy and takes your rook then queen f4 check king e2 queen f2 check and do you remember the sequence from earlier yes it is knight b c5 check king c3 and then queen d4 is a mate so after knight plus e4 in f1 he might be playing this then you play queen h4 threatening a mate on f2 then white has three logical moves to protect this if queen e2 then knight g3 check you must take otherwise you lose the queen then you take this rook and after king f2 you bring your rook with rook f8 and attack the open side if here he plays queen f3 then knight d4 attacks the queen white has two logical moves queen to e3 or g3 i'm going to tell you what to do in both of these if he plays queen to e3 then knight cross e2 is a double attack which wins the rook so he must play g3 then you have queen h3 check queen g2 queen f5 check if king e1 then knight cross e2 wins the rook after king d1 now you don't take the rook you play knight f2 check king moves again and you take this rook threatening to take the a1 rook as well so and if king to g1 then knight f3 check king goes to f1 and after knight h4 check you win the queen since it's a discovered attack and the queen is attacked so now after this if he plays queen e1 then knight g3 check in all of these lines knight g3 is going to be a key move so always be on the lookout for it and then if queen cross g3 then queen cross e4 check king d e1 and now you can recover your lost pieces like this so he might play king g1 but then again it's queen d4 check king f2 you take he takes and now after we take this rook we are significantly up in material and it should be an easy win for black so he might play king d e2 then you play knight d4 check bringing your other knight into the game if king f1 then queen f6 check king g1 and king to e1 all result in queen f2 mate so the queen has to be given up and you should easily win it from here if king to d3 then knight f2 check is a triple attack and wins the queen so suppose wait so now you might be thinking if you take the queen then your queen is also hanging right well no it 
takes a check the king has only two squares to go and whichever square he goes to this or this when we take the queen it will be a check to the king and our queen can safely escape after that so he might play king e3 then now queen h4 again we attack with everything we can d5 rook f8 queen f2 the list goes on if king to e1 then queen h4 check king f1 results in queen f2 mate so g3 you take if knight cross h8 then knight e4 this time you have to guess if king f1 then queen f2 mate of course so he will play h cross g3 you take this rook bishop f1 and rook f8 only thing now before he could he played queen e2 to protect this bishop now queen e2 is impossible since the knight protects that square so if he plays king to g1 this is the best move in the traxler but many people fail to play it properly now you play queen h4 threatening a mate on f2 if queen e2 then knight d4 and we are in a very commanding position we are attacking this which will eventually take the rook we are also threatening a checkmate here so the only two three moves are these the best move would be queen here since this and this both result and knight cross c2 winning the rook so after queen h4 he might play queen f1 but then rook f8 and you can see that white is in big trouble after this move so after queen h4 the best move is actually g3 then you take you might be wondering why do you take because after h cross g3 there is no taking the rook but you don't take the rook here instead you play queen cross g3 check and after the king moves you bring your rook to f8 attacking the open file and you should easily win it from here thank you everyone this was the track slow so remember if you were white then over here the best move is actually king f1 but i'm not going to cover it in this video i'm going to cover it another day so stay tuned and goodbye for now